I'm Jess and welcome to Count Nanorimo Day 4. My current word count is 10,034 words, uh, which I'm extremely happy about since it's quite a big jump from yesterday. Um, but I haven't written anything today, that's just um, yesterday's goal. Um, but I won't probably get a lot written today because it's my friend's birthday party, so I'm going to her house at 3 o'clock and then we're off out for the night. Um, so I probably won't get a lot written today, but I might get some written. So um, I was happy I got up to 10,000 yesterday. Um, yeah, so today's question is what is the genre of your novel and why did you choose that genre? So my novel is a political fantasy novel, I think you'd call it that. Think the Winner's Curse and um, An Ember in the Ashes and stuff like that, um, which focus more on the political side and not on um, the actual fantasies and not on like magic and stuff. There's no magic, it's just their politics and stuff. It's it's sort of a dystopian, I guess you could say, but I don't think it's in that genre. I just don't. I think it's more political fantasy. Um, I chose to write this genre because I've never written it before and I, I read so much fantasy and I'd never written fantasy before, so I thought, why not? And, um, yeah. So that's why I wrote that genre, and yeah, it's also sort of weird for me because it's for a dual point of view, and it's between a like one point of view is the girl and one point of view is the boy, uh, which I find really fun because then um, from the boy knows things that the girl doesn't, and the girl knows things that the boy doesn't, so the reader will get like the full experience of all the information they have, and then have the little bit of laughs when they both don't know everything, and it's really fun to write. Um, but also the fact that I normally, I know it's really weird, but I normally write from male point of views and I don't know why, but my female point of views don't sound very good. But lately uh, I've been writing quite a lot of um, female point of views too, but the only novels I've ever finished I've written from male point of views. So I don't know what it is about females, but I can't write them very well. So this is a really different with Clara's point of view because I don't regularly write from female point of views, but so far I'm really enjoying it. Um, so that was my Camp Nanaremo day four vlog, and I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.